What's going on, everybody? We are doing another episode of Finding Your Niche with Niche. And let me tell you, it has been a minute since I've seen you. It's been forever. I want to say about 12, 12 years. And I've been trying to practice your name. I mean, I know your your real name, but it's never never failing. Yeah, never failing. <laughs> I feel like so stupid saying never fa- I always say okay. never failing. And then people always think it's a, I'm not a, a felon. felon. So but. we'll try again. All right, everybody. I am talking to... Never ne- felon. Never felon. Oh, never felon. Never felon. Never felon. Yeah. Never okay. failing. Never failing. <laughs> However you want to do never it. Never failing. It works. You're never failing. Yeah. Okay, why the name? Why that? Um uh, that's a good question, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, I mean, honestly in life I don't feel like you could ever fail at anything. It's just you can only get better and then eventually you could be your best, so Okay. I figure if my name was never failing, that would just give me that boost to always be my best. Ooh, I like that. That's yeah. deep. Yeah. So you're kind of already setting yourself up for success. Yeah, of course. Right? And it, it's cool, too, because I think names are important, especially like if you have kids and you name them a specific name, because mm-hmm. when they're called that, you're kind of like proclaiming that. It's that energy. Yeah, you know? it's the yeah. energy for yeah. sure. Yeah. So thank you so much for being on. I'm really excited to talk to you. Come um, on. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I think I'm more excited than you are. Really? No, yeah. I'm excited. It's been a minute. Yeah. So I just got back to Atlanta, mm-hmm. and I've been gone for a little minute. And what I did learn here is that there's a lot of rappers. It's a lot of rappers. There's a lot of rappers in Atlanta. Like, it's crazy. How many do you think? Put a number on it. Mm, just in Atlanta? In Atlanta. Ooh. That live here, not that come here. Maybe, like, at least 100,000. <laughs> like, at least. <laughs> it's more than that? <laughs> Probably. I'll be out though. Yeah, but you, you're a dead on. I thought really? you were about to say 100. No, no, no. Yeah, 100,000. No, no. no, yeah, yeah, like 100,000. Yeah, it's up there. Yeah. So what made you want to be in that number? Honestly, um, I just like making music. I mean, that's I guess that's the simplest way to answer that question. But at the same time, when I started making music, I didn't I didn't know the demand for people that were wanted to make Wanting music. Wanting to do it, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you know I kind of got in deep. And I'm here, and I just, like I said, it's never failing, so I, I just kept perfecting my craft, so, mm-hmm. yeah, they mm-hmm, got to yeah. hear me. Yeah, you know? for sure. What do you think, because it's so hard, like you said, it's a very saturated industry, mm-hmm. especially here in Atlanta, what is it that, what is it about the way that you do music, or the way that you rap makes yourself different from anybody else? Uh, I mean, rapping, rapping is a thing where, I, you know, everybody has their own style. You can literally go copy somebody's song and you still have your own style with it. Mm-hmm. So I think it's bigger than just, you know, you being different. It's more like a brand. It's more like you building up the want for you, not really your music more than that, you yeah. know, more than anything. So I feel like I just, you know, I have a character that I feel like will people will embrace one day and they are already embracing. So, you know, that just gives me my driving force to just, know I'm going to be there one day, you mm-hmm. know, and be at the top, give me a Grammy, walk across that stage. Right. Like, yeah, I Let's was go. on these shows. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, All Grammy. That. Let's go, Grammy. Let's manifest that. Mm-hmm. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about why you love music so much? Mm. It's just uh, I related to sports, man. When I first started doing music, I, I was in a group. So not, not saying that we were on a competing level doing it, but it was like everybody was always trying to get better every day, and I feel like, that's what music showed me. Every time I drop a song, I felt like I got better after every song. So mm-hmm. I don't know. It just kind of reminds me of sports. Mm-hmm. You know, it's competitive. Yeah, Would you say like now you've been doing it for how long? A couple years? Yeah, at least a ten. Oh, a whole decade. Yeah, I've been doing it for about. Oh, a, a whoa. 10. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So you are like committed. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing it for. Oh, a, a wow. Minute, a minute. I record every day. I, I recorded two songs before I came here today. Wow. Like yeah, that, yeah, just like that. And so, since you've been doing it for over a decade, what mm-hmm. would you say is the is the area that you have improved the most? Um, actually, making the songs. You know, at the beginning, I I ain't gonna lie, some of my songs was lame. I can I can just I can hear them now, <laughs> and then I'm trying to you block gotta, them out. You gotta start somewhere, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's you know just just being better at knowing what people wanted to hear, knowing and just perfecting my ability to deliver it you Mm -hmm. know what i'm saying so not saying that it was all the way lame with the content but it was just like nah man my my progression is so like what like what was so lame like the lyrics 
I don't know. When you listen to your old music, it, it's a it's a different time too. So it's like beats are different. Mm-hmm. Everything's a lot different. So I guess I can't really judge my old music like that. Mm-hmm. But I just always look at the progression more than anything. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, damn, that shit. If I if I were to make some of those songs today, I'd be like, nah, I'm quitting music. <laughs> The same for the me. The people, the people yeah, will speak. The, the people ain't. They, they don't <laughs> want to hear that from you. That's good. Yeah. So basically, your overall song making process. You say you yeah. learned how to kind of cultivate that from yeah, inception yeah. I, um, to about, creation. About five, six years ago, I, I just stopped writing. That was wow. my, that's my biggest thing. Like I just don't write anything. I just get in front of the mic, just like we are right now, uh-huh. and just and just put the song together. You and know? just go. And just put it together. You know, just make the wow. song. Wow. Yeah. And how long does that usually take? For one song. Yeah. Like thirty. 40 minutes. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I'm... To write it? Like, everything beats everything? You do beats or no? No, I do make beats, but I don't... I don't... My beats ain't there yet. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. My beats are more like... I could probably put my beats in a movie or something like that. Like a score. Oh, like that. Okay. But, like, as far as just really just mastering the hip-hop beat, I haven't really mastered it like that where I can just... I feel like comfortable with me gotcha. just getting on them and people liking it. Mm-hmm. You know? I got you. Yeah. And with you, like, saying... Like, learning that... And where you are now, having done it a decade, where do you want to go? Like, if you can uh, envision, like, the peak of your success, uh-huh. right? The peak of your success as a rapper, as an artist, what does that look like? Definitely a Grammy. Definitely a lot of plaques. Uh, I re- Let me stop you right there, because I like that you're saying that. Because people yeah. try to act like awards don't matter sometimes. Yeah. But, like, they look like they didn't. I mean, awards are your career, right? Like, how, how, how is somebody going to remember you if you never got an award? <laughs> <laughs> well, people go say that. Books people be like, like, you know, it, I just do it. I just do it for the passion. Uh, words don't matter. Oh, that's know? a hobby, though. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. No, that's yeah. cool that you say that. This is that. my career choice. This is my field. I do a lot of other stuff, too, with film and everything like that, too. But mm-hmm. this is, you know, I know this is going to work. Because, mm-hmm. you know, once you put in that amount of time, a certain amount of time, it's, it's going to work. Yeah, it has yeah. to. What do you say to people who are like, don't take what you're doing seriously like oh you're rapping like okay why are you doing that how have you Um, how have you managed to combat those thoughts from people around you that don't take what i'm what i'm doing seriously Mm -hmm. i think that's more like the people that are around me saying that i feel like that's more like years ago they were saying that Mm -hmm. but how i combat that is you know you going to a nine to five every day like that's it (laughs) you know what the fuck what are you working on like at least, at yeah. least I can go listen to my music. Right. You know what I'm saying. You can't, you can't go home and mm-hmm. and count the pockets of your nine to five. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. You can't count their pockets. At least I can look at my music revenue and see how much money mm-hmm. I made off of my music. Yeah. All you can do is get paid for making somebody else. Money. Right. And live for the weekends. Yeah, and live for the weekends. <laughs> that, that's. Uh, that's crazy. That's the yeah. rat race. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that I haven't done that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, it's always been a bigger goal to mm-hmm. to just do more, man. It's it's not and, and music is just a platform. You know, once once I once I really break and have a few hits and have a uh, get a few plaques and you know that Grammy, I, I want that Grammy. Yeah, we're coming for the so Grammy. So if if yeah, just know now <laughs> I'm coming for that Grammy. However, if I gotta right. do anything, you know, not anything, but <laughs> <laughs> I want the Grammy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I want to ask you too, since you've done it so long, I uh-huh. guess, what has been the biggest challenge with mm-hmm. being an artist? Kind of, kind of along the lines of what you just said, just, just having people buy into it, especially the closest people to you, uh, you know, and, and sometimes you just gotta be real with yourself. You know, like I said, like my progression with making music has, is, it's like double to triple fold in the last few years. So mm-hmm. it's like. You know, people are catching on really now more than they caught on before. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know how history works. Once somebody thinks they know you, they know you. Yeah, so, that's true. You know what I'm saying? It's, so it's about getting over that hump of of just having the people close to you really believe because, you know, that energy sticks with you, man. It, regardless of how you want to put it, like, they don't matter, that don't matter, mm-hmm. then you can't have them around you if they don't matter because that energy is going to stick to you, so. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm, I do it for my people. You know, I just had a son, so I re- I'm really doing it for him now, yes. like more than anything. So I wanted so I want to talk more about that in a second. Yeah, I, I want to talk about that, but yeah. um, like you said, talked about energy. Another facet of being an artist is the actual performance aspect, yeah. right? You need a lot of energy, you need a lot of stamina to be able to go out and perform. Does that make you nervous to do that, or what kind of feelings what do you are you nervous? feeling? Like 
when you have to perform in front of crowds. Oh no! Nah, like nah. no, it's just it's all if you, fun if for you, you. Yeah, if you if you don't like crowds, you might as well stop being an artist because okay. that's just part of the that's just part of the nature of the beast, man. Have yeah. you ever performed and the crowd wasn't moving? Yeah. <laughs> what are, like, what are your thoughts? Like, you're up there, you're doing your thing, doing your music, and like, and nobody's really rocking. With I don't know. I always, even when I, even when I sucked, I thought I was the best. So yeah, it's like y'all just don't get it. <laughs> Do you think there's a part of people that's like that's cool for them to like just not? Yeah, I think I think like, that's, what is that? I think people are are more so like because I've seen people you know stepping back and just watching people perform, and I'm like, damn, that, that motherfucker's good. That mm-hmm. shit, that shit was hot, and then people weren't moving. So it's like uh, when I when I think about yeah. that, it just made me realize like some people just they think they're too cool, you know. Okay, just trying you know? not to. And then most most shows that independent artists do is a room full of artists. So what other art what other artists is just gonna stand up and cheer for you <laughs> when they waiting to get <laughs> on stage? That's true. They were there. Yes. Yeah, like, like you said, it's a competition. It's a competition. Yeah, it's like you know, it's like battlegrounds. And right. Them, so but maybe like, like after after the show's over, they'll be like, No, you didn't. Oh yeah, you they'll, did your they'll thing. come up to you. Yeah. And say okay. stuff, certain stuff. Right when you get off the stage, people walk up to you and, mm-hmm. and say certain stuff. And that's every time I perform, somebody's come up to me and was like, "Yeah, bro, that shit was hot." That's what's up. Yeah. Um, I was gonna ask you something about performing. Oh, okay. So, who would be somebody that you would want to collab with? Who's your dream collab? Ooh, a dream collab. Hmm. Female and male. I don't know. I don't. That's a hard question. Okay, what's yeah, the last? What's the last? Let me let me ask you this then. What's the last song you downloaded on your phone? My song. <laughs> 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 but uh, ugh. like who that's, do you listen to? Question. Who's that's your favorite question. artist? I love Lil Baby. Okay. Yeah, I, to me, he's the hardest hip hop really? artist out right now. I don't know. Yeah, who's the hard? Who's the best right now? Now you got to look at hip hop for the culture that it is right, right now. Right now, like right yeah. the second, like they what have music out right culture? now. Yeah. In the in the hip hop culture, what is hip hop right now? Not, not the. Um, I like a lot of main, I like culture. a lot of mainstream. Like I love uh, J Cole. I love Kendrick. Okay. Who else? See, that's more like you know they See, go is, they, they go towards it? the conscious side. Hip-hop, okay, so hip hop. Okay, let me think. Culture right now is okay. Hip hop is more of a street conscious uh, culture. You know. Uh, let me see. Who do I really listen to like that? Migos don't count. They're not really doing nothing right now. Do they count? I mean, they count. Yeah. They count. I like them. But I can't do, like, I don't like Lil Baby like that. Why not? I like the baby, though. Why you don't like Lil Baby? Uh, I'm, he's growing on me. I don't want to fully say, like, I don't really rock with him like that. But it's mm. just, like, the, his cadence. Like, like him and Future, like, I can't do Future at oh, you all. Can't do future? I cannot. That's one of my I keep trying, too. too. Like, I can't. I try, like, every time. And then I'm like, why am I doing this? Like I can't. The cadence. I don't. Know. I don't understand. So it's like the way, like the rhythm of how they're rapping. It's just off to like you. the flow. Yeah, I just can't really like. And the beats, the, the beat choices. Okay. I can't do it, but people love him. Like. Okay, you like yeah you people you, yeah you you're the roots. I know. <laughs> I'm like shout out J Cole. <laughs> we got the same name. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, but so okay now on the more conscious side, yeah. like a lyricist, who do you like? Yeah, the J. Coles, the Kendricks. Okay. Um, I like um I like J. I. D. He's a pretty okay. he's a pretty good artist. I've heard about um, him. Yeah, you know, it's not a, a lot of lyrical mm-hmm. mainstream rappers, so it's like mm-hmm. you only got that little pool to choose from. That's so. true. Yep, that's true. Which is nice because mm. well, I don't know if it's nice because it shows how narrow the entrance is. Yeah. To even get into their level. And it's not that many. I of mean, them. yeah, well, yeah, that that's true, but it's it's really hard right now to to even be a mainstream because because they got on years ago. Mm-hmm. So to even get in that mainstream intellectual rapper realm, it's, yeah. it's kind of hard because you know everybody's ignorant. So mm-hmm. you got to be a little ignorant these days. You <laughs> ignorance, <laughs> yeah, ignorance, ignorance is key. Is key. <laughs> Ignorance is key. You gotta, you gotta pipe it up. Right. Sometimes. That's crazy. Speaking yeah. of piping it up, I watched some of your videos, uh-huh. and um, um, <laughs> I got a lot more coming. Though. You got a lot more coming. Yeah. Like who you are, I would say off camera, like not in your music, is uh-huh. very different than who you seem like in your videos. Straight up. Yeah. Is it just what I look like, or what I? I guess the context, like the content that you're having, the different women, like what you guys are doing in the videos, oh, okay, feels okay. very different. Because you're also like a family man now. Yeah. So, I mean, what, I mean 
<laughs> I don't get it. You don't think so? Mm-mm. You think they're the same person? You're the yeah, same person off and on? Per- yeah, it's the same person. Okay. so it's, they- a, it's a business. So I, I strictly look at it like a business. You okay. Know? I'm not going to I'm not gonna act like when I get on the camera, everybody want to look at me. Mm-hmm. But I do know but what they want to see. do you party a lot outside of your videos? Or uh, is it like, is it like have, regular? My, That's I what I mean. My, I have my, my spur to moments where we, you know, we go to the club. We yeah. throw the ones. We... We turn up, we pop the bottles. Okay. And, you know, we might do a song, but we might be too gone to even do a song. Okay, you know, I got you. Every now and then, but it's not <laughs> it's not like that's my life or nothing like that because, like I said, I look at it like a business. It's, mm-hmm. I'm doing an appearance, and we might go to that right. level. You that's know, what I mean. Like, thing. that's not your life. Like, that's not how it's it not, is every day. It's not my my life, no. Nah. I don't think anybody that's successful in anything could, that could be their life, you mm. know. It's, you know, not saying that all music is a facade, but yeah, it's kind of like these are the experiences I've been through in life, mm-hmm. and now I get to talk about it and yeah. talk, talk as much shit as I want. Right. Yeah. Um. So let's talk about that a little bit. Like you said, you have a regular life. You have uh-huh. a brand new baby. Congratulations. Thank you. On that. How yeah. does that feel to be dad? To be called dad? Like, have you gotten used to saying that? What? I'm a dad. I'm a dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, man. Yeah? It's cool. Yeah, he real chill. So Real chill. I can see if he was crying all the time, then it'd be like, damn, I'm a dad. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, pr- I'm a proud I'm a proud father, regardless. Aww. You know, I'm a proud father. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. What yeah. what, ha- what have you learned about yourself? Because your son is like a month now. Yeah, he's, he's a little bit over a month, like five weeks. Okay. Yeah. So what have you learned about yourself in the last month? That I actually do have great self-discipline. And what? In, in what because way? I when I when I look at him, it just made me think a little differently. You know what I'm saying? It's like before, it's like I had I had options, and I might explore my options. Mm-hmm. But now I know I can't explore every option. Mm. You know, that's good. So more self discipline. Yeah. And he's already he's only a month old. He's, he's only teaching, a month he's old. teaching you that. Yeah, already. he's smart. Yeah. Wow. You know how to you know how to make me move. Right. What's your favorite thing about him so far? Hmm. He's a workaholic. I put him in front of the keyboard the other day. <laughs> he went to sleep. Really? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, he's already a workaholic. Man. That's exciting. What yeah. What were your, because everybody's kind of, story is a little bit different. Did you always want to have children? Yeah, of course. So I want to have learned? a lot more kids. I want really? to at least have like three, probably three more. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's frightening. <laughs> yes. You don't want to have No, any, uh, maybe one more. I want to be two oh, okay. and done. Okay. Somebody told me um, when you start to have more children than parents, like when the kids outweigh the par- outnumber the parents, it gets a little crazy. What you mean? Like if you have more than two kids. Who it told just, you that? I can't remember, but somebody did tell me that. Like it's just life starts to get a little starts to get a little bit more hectic. Hmm. Cause I think two, two is a two. I gotta, I gotta get a lot of money real fast, then, huh? Yeah, yeah, you sure do. And I, then think it won't that, be that I think that might solve some problems. That's pro- yeah, it's probably somebody who yeah. was just like, you know, had a yeah, nine to was, five. Yeah, the wick was killing them. They was like, <laughs> food stamps wasn't enough. Yeah, you know, kids was getting fat too fast. Exactly. You know, so yeah. you want four kids? Yeah, I want. I would. I would like four kids, man. I would. I would like three boys and a girl. Three boys and a girl. Yeah. Okay, so then when you what when you learned that you were going to be a father, you wanted it to be a boy. Oh, yeah, of course. Wow. Okay. I don't think any. My my husband actually he wanted a girl first. Why? He had a reason. I I think he said because if you have a girl first, you can learn to be gentle so that you're not so hard on your son when he comes. He had a mean like mom. so rough. No, <laughs> 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 no, he that it is rare. Like most well, guys want mm-hmm. a boy first, yeah. but no, he was like, I, I think wanna... he, I think he may have overthought that one a little you think bit. So? Yeah, maybe. I don't, I don't know though. No, I know, I don't know. He's a great dad. My so. my my uh. My guy is not to the age where I can start pushing him that hard. Not so, yet. Yeah. So. Another thing that's really interesting about you, which uh-huh. I was really excited to talk to you, because you're not just a rapper, you're not just an artist. To me, you're like low key a, a philanthropist. Yeah. I like, mean, on the low, man, I I do have a big heart. Yeah, you have yeah. an amazing. I don't I don't know if it's an organization, a mm-hmm. company, but Spring it's Urban Fest. Yeah, okay. It's a company. Talk it's a little a- bit about Spring Urban Fest because I love like what you do to the community and. The ability that you have to be able to give back. Yeah, I mean, well, how I'll, I'll start from the beginning. How it started was I wanted to drop a project. It was like 2015, I think. I wanted to drop a project, but at the same time, I wanted people, like, uh, not my not my 40 people that were going to f- show up. I wanted a lot of people to show up to, mm-hmm. like, see, see the, the dropping of it, the release and everything like that. 
So we were just going over ideas, trying to put together a way where we can have a lot of people show up and I can get press. We can help other people get press and blank, mm -hmm. blank, blank. And then that's kind of how Spring Urban Fest started. We I gave it the name and it's here today. When did when, Do you remember what the first show was like? Oh, uh, yeah, it was crazy. We were in this, this warehouse for uh, DGK. It was uh, Stevie Williams' warehouse. Okay. He's a skater, professional skater. Well, ex-professional skater. He doesn't skate anymore. But okay. Yeah, he had, it had graffiti all over the wall. It was dope. I and we had ramps in there. We had a basketball goal in there. We had we had all types of stuff in there. And it was just it was just funny. Mm -hmm. It was just fun, yeah. Four, 420 friendly, you know. Wow. That yeah, type of yeah. You know what I'm wow, saying? Wow, okay. No mask. <laughs> the four mask yeah. days. Pre-COVID. Pre-COVID. Yeah. It was hot. Yeah. And so how long ago was that, that first one? That was 2015. Okay, so a couple of years now. Yeah. Um, What is it that made you like want to be able to give back because you said this is a competitive industry you really don't have to put people people on like this you don't have to give them this platform this opportunity yeah so what was it about you that made you decide to i guess want to have the heart to I, do that i think that more than anything yeah it's a competitive industry but if you look at it like you can block somebody out then you're never going to get on Mm. Because you always you're always gonna need somebody else to to feed in to what you got going on, mm -hmm. you know. So even if it's like a whole bunch of artists that come to my show, those still are people that are supporting where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Even though they might not be in the position that I am yet, they're still part of my supporters. So the way I look at it, and I had a lot of friends that did music, so it's like, you know, not not set. I don't ever go for self. You know, I played a lot of team sports growing up, so. Mm -hmm. I've never been like a selfish person. So okay. it's like, I'm not going to tell everybody, hey, yo, I know y'all do music, but come to my show. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if y'all come to my show, shit, let's do a song that we got together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, mm -hmm. I mean, it's about me putting my craft out there, but me being who I am and being a confident artist, I feel like when I hit the stage, it's, it's me anyway. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I would hope, you know, if we doing a collab, mm -hmm. you hit the stage, it's the same. You give the it's same the energy. Same. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Then we can we can build upon that. But I know they're not gonna forget me. Mm -hmm. You know. That's right. Yeah. What what is the most like what is the most difficult part about putting on an event to that extent? Oh uh, reaching out to people. Okay. Keeping people in the loop. Uh making sure people are excited. Um and just you know, just keeping the energy just going. Like whenever we're doing, if we're giving a doing a give back, I feel like the the hardest event is probably not the hardest, but the most time consuming event mm -hmm. was like doing a celebrity basketball game because you got to find all the players, all the celebrities. You got to find yeah, you got to yeah. find all the players. You got to find all the celebrities. You got to find mm -hmm. performers. You got to find uh, hosts. You got to do radio stuff. You got to get all the stuff for the gym ready um you got to find vendors mm -hmm. you know that's like that's to me that was the hardest event we've ever put on and and you have to find charities that want to give back to the kids you got to find kids mm -hmm. that that our parents would allow them to slick come to an adult type event but it's for yeah. the kids so you know once once you once you do an event that's really hard it, it really make all the other ones seem like it's like just you know mm -hmm. a drop in the bucket you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying it's just you got to use your time like it's all about time and can you talk a little bit about that because you just spoke having the celebrity basketball can you guys can you speak on um how or some of the actual artists or celebrities that you i guess could show respect to for showing you guys love during urban fest um um, I was just talking to Malachi earlier. I'm I'm trying to do a song with him. We're trying to work something out. I don't know if you know he's a singer, Malachi. Okay. Uh, Lovely Mimi. She came out. Um, Drummer Boy. He came out. Um, Mo Quick. She used to be with Streets 94.5. She normally hosts it. Uh, man, we had a lot of just rappers in Atlanta. A lot of the uh, the Instagram famous people that come out. Um, I don't know. I just. It's so many. It's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. When I say it's a lot of people, it's yeah. a lot. It's a lot of emails that go out. Right. I was. I can. Some of the ones that really stand out mm -hmm. to me that have made an imprint. Um, can you tell me how you guys started to collab with uh, Super Peach? With Super Peach. Oh yeah. yeah, Super Peach. Yeah. We uh we actually had her at an event at Stonecrest Mall. It was it was a event for the kids and mm -hmm. you know we we made her one of our featured people. We booked her to come out and do her thing. Yeah. Was and this before did, or after she was on the rap game? This is after. 
Okay. Yeah, this is after. So this was like two years ago, maybe two, three years ago. Okay. And um, she just, you know, we, we really connected like family, like immediately. Like mm. they just, they loved our energy. I love their energy. Her, her mom is so hyped. Her sister got her back like 150%. And, yeah. And Peach is Peach, you know what I'm saying? She's her to the to the end you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying she's she got great energy so you know from then on we was just like it's mm -hmm. fam the only thing that um that's kind of held us up from just working a lot more is covid well okay. we would have did so much more this last year 2020 and yeah. that's the only thing that slowed us down yeah but um you know did you guys do virtual or y'all still did some in-person stuff last year we did some in-person stuff last year we wanted to get in the virtual round but mm -hmm. It just wasn't like home, you know. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's very I mean, if different. this year, if this year goes like last year, we're definitely gonna do you're a gonna lot more virtual. Adapt, like, yeah, we're gonna have to adapt. That's the crazy thing about it, cause it is not the same, like yeah. being in front of an audience and performing like on a stage, and then yeah, we had like thirty plus events that had to get canceled last year. Oh, wow. Like last year was gonna be our biggest year in the in the history of our organization, but wow. you know, it is what it is. You know, maybe we were overstepping our our boundaries okay. maybe we were just you know yeah moving a little too fast because so. we booked a lot of stuff and people want everybody wanted to work with us and you know it, it just worked out how i did mm -hmm. you know i'm not mad oh that's okay yeah it is it is what it is what do you have coming up what are you most excited about for this year music dropping music yeah i'm, I'm excited about dropping music um i got a i, I just signed a, a deal with sony Nice. Uh, distribution Congrats. deal with Sony, so they're gonna be kind of promoting my stuff, and I'm putting out some videos through them and yeah. some, some different stuff. I got stuff I'm working on with Rock Nation as well. Very cool. And and Empire. So, you know, if you know if everything just aligns the right way, then mm -hmm. you know that Grammy will be here. We'll, we'll be walking across that red carpet. Yes, sir. I'll be getting fly. Yes, yeah. sir. Getting fly. Yeah, I'll be getting fly. You already fly. I meant to tell you that too. I wanted to give oh, you. Like I love your style. I brought you, I brought you a shirt too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you got it right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I brought you a shirt. Tell so. me about the. Tell me about this the is, brand. This is, this is my brand, Envy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I so, like that. Yes. Yeah, Who did the uh, art? Me, I did. You I, did? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Multi-talented. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah, I made the shirt too. I bleached it and everything.